No, I'm not. I'm not going back with uh, Unicity, but um, I still stand by that they have good products. But and I still do drink the um, what you call it, the drinks once in a while. Well, I just I'm, I'm so bad at being consistent with anything that you know. <clears throat> it's hard to be successful at anything when you're not consistent, and I know this. So, but no, <laughs> horror ranked. Oh, it must be breezy. She's very very upset with my post. So it's probably one of her a million accounts. <laughs> oh. Well, I guess if you don't like somebody clapping back, you probably shouldn't come into someone's stream and try to derail it and uh, make a comment on what I'm wearing when it's a thousand times better than what you wear. So eat it. Just eat it. Eat it. People are harassing. It's not a Unicity employee. People are stupid. Seriously. Seriously. Like, why would it be a Unicity employee? Like, why can't I have friends? Like, there are people who legit love me because I'm an awesome, nice person. And if you don't think so, that's your problem. I'm not nice to you. If I'm not nice to you, it's probably because you're not nice to me. And um, I would say that there's probably like thousands of people on YouTube that are not nice to me, right? Dildo, your number one fan. Thank you. So yeah, I am very nice. <laughs> it's true. Who can't be a bee, you know? So, all right. So I have some, I, I, I'm keeping track of everything I'm ordering and everything, um, you know, treats I have. And no, Tam, you're not. Hi, little pumpkin. I tell people to sit on it and rotate who deserve it. Absolutely. I put this nice lamp here so that I can have some like nice lighting. I don't like the big lights. The big lights, they put me in a foul mood, you know. Thank you, Flopsy. Yeah. See her. I, uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're going to make plans. What comment? I didn't see it. Hello, Ellen. But let me check. Oh, message retracted. It was retracted. Oh. Fart Gar Garfunkel for saying my friend is a paid actor. <laughs> you know what's really, really friggin' funny about that comment is whenever I was having coffee with my friend, she said that. She's like, and I, I said that too. I'm like, watch, I'm gonna post a photo of you and me and they're gonna say you're a paid actor. And what do people do? Ah, uh, you're so predictable, I love it. Yes, I put my flowers in a vase. GoPro treadmill, Timu Hall groceries month long. Thailand trips, girl teaching me how to make money and inexpensive. Listen, people are so sad. Hi, C Roller. An MLM, that too, living Laura, yeah. Um, nothing wrong with MLM friends, but our vehicle. Um that's a Salah, that's a thirty-one thousand dollar Canadian SUV. And people are saying it's a Timu car. People who probably don't even have a car. Nothing wrong with that, but if you don't have a car. Don't rag on people who have one. If you don't have a man, don't rag on people who have one, okay? Also, Tensala. Hello, babe. I was just talking about our Sherry. I saw someone say, like, you have a Timu vehicle. I was like, what? What? But it's kind of funny, I guess. Hi, babe. Where's my pumpkin spice latte? Hey, Carrie. Can you express an opinion on my friend? Only her yeah, sure, Mike Misguided. Go for it. No one bite block Mike. They can't even pay for the wheels of the car. Um. Oh, cut the stems? Okay, CB. I kind of just shoved them all in one pot. Should I space it out? It doesn't pass enough regulations to be sold in some countries like the United States. What? Oh my gosh. But they sell Fords. Please. I had a, like, I, listen, Dodge is crap. Dodge is crap. The Sherry is amazing. It's amazingly awesome. High tech. It's perfect. <laughs> the Sherry. <laughs> Please. Um, yeah. Hi, Levy. You missed so many lives from basket. Hi, Teardrop. Oh, my sound. How come? Okay, let me put my, my microphones, but when I smoke shisha, it might be a bit loud. So I'm being bad. I'm ordering a pumpkin spice. Just I have to have one for the season, at least. Like, I'm sorry. Everyone is having pumpkin spice. Um, I'm not getting it from Starbucks. I still haven't had Starbucks. Started. I did have a bit of fast food before, but I'm back to boycotting that. And, well, I, it's, like, impossible to boycott everything. Like, I don't know. I try my best, you know? Some products, I don't even know. But, um... Can you hear me okay? I haven't eaten, I haven't ordered fast food since Thailand. That's like so incredible for me because you guys know. I'm trying not to show my hallway because I don't know. I want my plaque in there too. That's just nothing. There's a beach ball and a chair. To me, that's like cluttered and there's a vacuum and Julia's bag on the ground. I don't like it, but I leave it there for her because she loves it, you know? Anyway, whatever. It's a uh, boosty boost. 
Can you guys hear me now? Really? Capone? I didn't know that. Pumpkin cookies. Hey, bakery. And no, I ordered from Dunkin'. Dunkin' pumpkin spice. Three Amazon bases. My YouTube pluck. <laughs> Amelia. No, you're not blocked. Duck puppet, no. Did you see the broken ass girly bride who accused us and claimed that we are broke? He's a big joke. <laughs> I saw that. I mean, I'm not, I have debts. It's no secret, but I'm paying them off. <laughs> like I have a payment plan. And um, that's the thing. Like the most sanctimonious people are always the most, whatever they claim the other person. I'm going to try putting um, vas some people put Vaseline on their eyebrows. I wonder if that works. Thank you, Rhea. I look like a girl band member. I'm in a mood today, so I'm letting everyone have it. Hey, Paul. Nice. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm rich. Like, you know. <clears throat> I won't say we're broke. We're not broke. Okay. But, um, yeah, I know people think that I only make like 2500 a month in YouTube. I make more, way more than that. And then Salah has an income. Obviously, he can't live here if he doesn't. <laughs> so, um. Yeah. <laughs> Katie. Hey, Becca. Yeah, comfortable, you know. Mashallah. I don't take it for granted. Hey, Jessica. Beach bees. Is anyone rich at the moment and except four people? Hi, Nelly. You would like, I don't know. The case was approved to finally move forward. What does that mean, tired AF? Like, just, is that bad for him? Because if it is, yay. Foodie is on a payment plan and uh, stop saying she's going to jail in Canada, please. To go to jail in Canada for like taxes, you have to be like, probably like, a, like, you know, you have to ignore them for years and years and years. Hi, Andrew. So, yeah, as long as you keep up with them and, you know, Canada's so chill. Yeah. Yeah, I did do the treadmill today, this morning. Yeah, he's still around. Yeah, as long as you're exactly you can still afford like for me i feel rich like being uh it's not about being broke or no shame for broke people but it's mental hypocrisy when you accuse other people to be broke while he is the broke ass and had you credit plan not pay it looks pathetic yeah yeah like it looks stupid whenever you suffer from whatever you're accusing other people of you know is it still cutting out okay try exiting and coming back in and let me know guys because maybe it's the internet i don't know i hope not let me know teardrop if it hey padley thank you amanda Hey, Amelia, Sunni, Sunni Muslim. Oh, I wish Capone. I know they should like, I don't know. The thing with Carla Hamolka is they made that plea deal before they found the tapes, right? And dude who said they're going to subpoena you. Bring it on. Hold your tongue. I need a swear jar. I need to put a dinars in it. Bring it on, Stephen Harper, Leon looking wannabe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Cynthia. So yeah, yeah, CB. Hey, if you have no debt, you're rich for sure. That's awesome. I thought I would never get out of having a car payment. Don't have a car payment, so happy. Love you, he is jealous of everyone except his long love story, one week engagement on internet. Just beating out, they didn't even meet. Do you believe the man should be the red winner? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> they should definitely like take care of you. But I know it's not always possible. Like, I don't feel like a man should be totally dismissed. Like, you see a lot of women on TikTok who are, like, holding, like, you know, Chanel, like, a whole bunch of, like, Hermes and all that. And they're like, my man provides. It's like, whatever. They don't have to be, like, that level there. But, you know, um, an adult with responsibilities and, you know, all these other things, earning an income and stuff is, you know, I mean, all bros. No, Melly, not if you're an expat. You can't. Yeah. Rip Kia Pondu. The nut salsa. I don't know. Yeah, if you don't have cash, exactly. Thanks, babe. <laughs> Aw, and you're so handsome. I got a new camera, but I'm not using it. We have a GoPro. We're just waiting on one more piece. We had to order it because none of the stores had it here. They're all sold out. So, yeah. Pay for cash, yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's I'm really, like, I was so financially irresponsible my whole life. And now, at, like, 39, I started, and I'm 40, so, like, last year, maybe, I started, um, you know, okay, writing down like, okay, what do I owe? What debts do I have? And just like, you know, focusing most of my income on my debts. And um, 
kind of thing. And, you know, Salah can take care of, before he met me, he was living on his own, had bills, same, similar situation, you know. Um, we're not paying much more here than what we were there because what he was living, because he was living in uh, Salmia, which is very expensive. It's more expensive than here. So, um, <laughs> Capone, that's a bad word in this chat. <laughs> Denise, <laughs> a 2008 Honda Accord, and I love it. Yeah. Saul used to have a Honda. They're, they're very, they're built to last cars, you know? Denise! It depends, Amanda, like, um, you can get like a bachelor for like maybe what, 150, 175 KD, which is maybe five, $600. It's paid for. That's the thing. I would rather have a car that's paid for and still working. The Kia was, it's still going strong because you know why I put a lot of money into that thing. Like just before selling it, I got all new brake job. Everything was $1,500. Remember I was complaining. So it was really in good condition, except it had a scrape, but whatever. My Optima. Yeah, I really like, I really liked my Kia. There's no problem with it. You know, it was comfy. So I want to steal it back. Yeah. <laughs> Here's two grand. No, it's probably, that's all it's worth. I maintained it well, except running over all those animals, but they ran in front of my car. Sometimes you can't help it. You know, I wish I didn't, but <sighs> that totaled the front of my car. I don't know what I hit that day on the bridge, but um, I sold the Kia because I wasn't planning on going back to Canada anytime soon. And um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, ECP, good for you. That's awesome. No, I don't drive here, Ginger. These ads, sorry guys, if you can watch them, that'd be great. <laughs> Speaking of poor. <laughs> no, they didn't see Phyllis driving it because she doesn't have it. <laughs> They're full of crap. As usual, you can get a scooter, imagine. I'm okay. My coffee's here. I drove once. Yeah. Yeah, because at the time I read that, like, when I, at the time that I would drove, I was like, I could use my Ontario license, but no, now I can't. <laughs> 33,000 brand new. Yeah, ours was like 31 something, 31,000 something coffee at eight yeah I, it doesn't it doesn't affect my tiredness they saw it with their eyes my ass she's not driving my car so there's no way they're lying to you prove it <laughs> it got repoed nope i didn't owe money on it stumpy so yeah do we do the prayers five times a day um you mean like do muslims muslims do yeah typically I'm sure not everyone's perfect and probably maybe misses some once in a while. I don't know. That's everyone's personal business. Is that my stuff, babe? I have to use the bathroom. Oh, nice teardrop. Good for them. Do they love it? <laughs> Shut up. How do you know if I pray or not? Do you have a camera in my house? <laughs> like, it's none of your effing business. You're not even religious, so shut up. Okay. Ooh. It's small. Oh, my God. It's not even full. Stupid. What a ripoff. I drank it. You think so? You thought. Did you see that guy that spit in the guy's drink? Hmm. Oh, it's so good. Pumpkin spice. Latte. No whip. No, I didn't sell my car to a family member. I don't know if that's a recent picture of her, of, of uh, just beating old people today. No, we don't have Walmart. But I don't care about her weight. I don't give a crap. What I think, what I'm laughing at is her shirt because she had the nerve to be like, like she sounds like such a, like a childish grade school, high school meanie friggin' hater. Like she sounds like such a jealous hater. Before she says, oh, you're jealous of me. Like what? What's there to be jealous? Like seriously, you live with your parents um, at 41. You've been rejected by Isaac Guest and Gorlick bread. Yeah, I'm real jealous. You ride a scooter. No, I was watching your mama. <laughs> I never watch these people, these leeches. I know, I said I wouldn't watch. But you know, he has like done a lot also to um, bring a lot of attention to how like, like he's basically his channel is like partly responsible, largely responsible for making these people look like clowns that they are. I called him Karen bread because it's true. Like I swear, listen, I'm not even being mean, but he goes on these sanctimonious, long ass tirades of, listen, this guy is so, he, okay. 
he has merch making fun of my body shape, but then he has the nerve to make a video. I saw this through Yo Mama saying he paid money to ask an expert to draw out a diet plan and exercise plan for me. And he did this whole dissertation on my entire life to send to that person. And you should have heard him reading it off. It was like a lecture, like a documentary, like a, like a university lecture 101 on like, and, and I have, you know, I, I've traveled to the Middle East. I'm quite sedentary. And I had to, you know, I, I had to purchase an extra seat. No, I didn't. You're, you're like just lying. Like I never purchased an extra seat. Do I have to bring out all of my receipts for every single flight I've taken? Never have I purchased an extra seat ever in my life. Then he has the nerve to be like, and it, I, I have to take a couple days to reco recover from a simple 20 hour flight. Okay, here's your challenge, buddy. Go to fly 20 hours to the Middle East. See how long it takes you to recover. I think anybody of normal size or not, it takes them a while to recover from 20 hours of traveling. Okay, traveling is exhausting. Not to only, not to mention also that there's the time difference, which gives you jet lag. Like, anyway, yeah. I think that maybe uh, it's all the push up bras he's buying. I don't know. Living in your parents' basement. I know times are tough, like rent wise and stuff, but. Maybe it's time to get a normal job. I don't know, especially for Breeze. Like Gorla probably makes decent money talking about making up lies about my life every day. I couldn't, you know, be proud of making money like that, but whatever. And, but um, just beating old people today? No, she probably needs a job. I'm not the one with a GoFundMe to take my kids to Disneyland. If that's true, I don't know. It might just be a troll, but... And I realize the people who talk about the reaction channels don't want to look like they're defending me, right? I notice people in the chat too, if they want to agree with shitting on the reaction channels, they always have to preface a statement by saying, I don't like Chantal, but Chantal's pretty vile, but, you know, and then they'll say what they want to say. So I get that they can't kiss my butt because then no one will watch them. I get that. Hi, Barbara. And look, yeah, <laughs> I'm her job, right? I don't know. Like, if you have to make a GoFundMe to go to Disneyland, you're not probably doing too great. I'd have a headache if I had to listen to Carla. Like, yeah, just like nonstop. Like, blah, blah, blah. so it goes without saying that, uh, you know, she today she had two cups. of Today, the, you know, the doctor said that she had to have a palm of rice. And uh, we've been seeing that she's been eating a lot more rice than that. So, uh, no, the doctor said, go like this. And this is how much rice you can have. Okay. I said that in my video. Go back and check. I live in Southern California. Can you afford it? Ma'am, you live your parents' basement in an e-bag for Disney tickets. Yeah, right. Exactly. If you're so loaded, why are you exactly making GoFundMe's just to go to Disney? It's like a hundred bucks. Anyway, I hope you do get to take your daughter because that would be nice and something to do with her. But if I go live while you're at Disney, don't drop what you're doing, okay? If you're on a ride, just stay on the ride. And she'll cry now on live, even though I never come for her. Like, I don't even, like, acknowledge her existence or any of them. Like, you know, I certainly don't get off on them talking about me. You know, I wish they wouldn't, but they know that. What's for dinner? Um, I made the KFC knockoff sandwich on a bun again. And I had some, I'm out of Brussels sprouts and I have a little bit of broccoli left. I need to order a whole bunch of bags more, but they go, I go through them. So I could go through a bag every two days. Just beaten today. Don't come to my stream again. You affect it and brought a dirty virus. Yeah. Like the thing is this person who's a mature adult, 41, coming into Salah's stream where you know you're not wanted, starting to, trying to start crap. Her, her profile picture, I thought it was a troll because she was like this. At least Salah can carry your new friend, Chantal. Like what? <laughs> like what? What does that even mean? Like... Oh my gosh, please go take another picture in your daughter's room, thirst trapping for a friggin' Isaac guest. You make fun of me being fat, I'm half his weight. You were willing to go under his desk and, and do favors for him. So fat can't bother you that much, huh? I look swollen, I'm fat. I'm 154 kgs, baby. Why did he reject her? She didn't even meet him and she's like, like they didn't even, they weren't even dating and she's like, I wanna go fly out to see you, but can't take her daughter to Disney. And then, uh, I don't know. It's kind of gross, but he was just like something about ro Arby's roast beef. And did I miss the treadmill session? Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing tread. Like I do it in the mornings without hijab. So probably um, overeating and water retention. I mean, to be fair, I don't think that Isaac Guest should really be talking about anyone's private parts. He probably hasn't seen his in years. No, seriously. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's true. Yeah. So I'm being fair. It's true. I, I, I really don't know how he has the nerve to make fun of uh, Breezen's body. I mean, yeah, even got rejected by <laughs> Coves. You know, there's, he understands there's going to be some bad days and I struggle sometimes, obviously. Oh, Gorlick proposed to her. But then he didn't he cheat with uh, Jessica. She can't, she skips ahead when she's talked about, oh, wow. The person who makes videos every day about other people. Wow. Can't handle it. <gasps> you should make a GoFundMe for some thicker skin. And her alt accounts and her minions were coming for me saying, even in this picture, she's thinner than you. Yes, she's thinner than me. And so what? <laughs> like, what does that matter? There's so many things worse than being fat, okay? I saw some idiot reactor I never heard of before. Like, it came up on recommended, and they're like, she doesn't take accountability for her weight gain. You ever hear something so stupid it crosses your eyes? 
where did I not take accountability for my weight gain? When in my video, I literally said, I literally said, I overate. <laughs> like, what more do you want me to do? Get down on my knees and like ask people to forgive me for overeating? Like, I don't get what accountable, like, who, why do I have to be accountable to you? This is my body. It's my journey. Like, yeah, I exactly, Katie. And people like, they just make up drama out of nothing. I don't even know how people listen to the hair and bread sanctimonious rants anymore. Remember back in June, he was like, well, uh, we're going to see there June 16th what happens. But I think that uh, they pulled up a whole article on, you know, she's diabetic. So I think that they're going to uh, exile her from Kuwait. She has quite a few uh, problems that could be a burden on the health system. It's money. I pay. I pay for healthcare. <laughs> so June 16th, what day is it today? October 24th? Still waiting to be sued by millions of people, uh, by uh, what's her face? By uh, Swordfish, um, Stephen Harper, comb over Queen of Lachine. Who else is going to sue? Why are people in Gore World so obsessed with how much other people weigh when they're all, a lot of them are overweight as well? That's what I'll never get. Gorlick Red is a stout, portly fellow as well. You can hear it in the way he talks, his chubby cheek talk. Like you can picture him pacing back and forth in his room with his baseball cards. So um, I think they were like, you should never mention swordfish again. You're right. I shouldn't. Yeah. Even to make fun, even to make fun. <laughs> I'm feeling sassy today. So many people have diagnosed. Yeah. So people, so many people have undiagnosed eating disorders as well. You know, um, hi rainbow. Actually, I look, I, I watched, um, yo mama stream and he had that picture of her up. He was, oh my gosh. If you guys have not seen his, um, snow fake, yo fake, he does a parody of snow. Um, Mr. Snowflake. I didn't contrive any drama. Okay. Like I don't make up drama. It just comes to me. And I saw someone comment in a stream and then I don't know who you are. If you want to come forward and take credit. So someone's like, the only thing and you guys are not crazy. You, you guys are all crazy in the sense that we're, fun, we're silly. Okay. The only thing crazier than a beezer is an ex-beezer. <laughs> it's so true. The people that get cast out, they become insane more than ever. I'm a forgiving person to a certain degree, you know, get rid of people who bring negative energy in your life. Just do it. Forgiveness is a trap. <laughs> Cheese trap. <laughs> Why do people read the forums? I like actually went there once or twice just to like, you know, I wanted to check something out. And there's like 10,000 pages talking about the stupidest things. Like, how do you live with yourself? Like when you're that petty, I, I really wonder. Yeah. So they were like picking apart, like, where my new friend, like her shirt and stuff, stupid stuff like that. Like she probably shops at Timu. Who cares? So stupid. Like they talk about the dumbest things like that don't matter. They love you. They To spend 10,000 pages talking about someone in detail, like the amount of obsessive detail they put into their paragraphs is insane. It's like pathological. She has a Timu Kia. I mean, a Timu uh, SUV. Whether you think it's junk or not, it was still expensive, brand new. And they're like, she makes 2,500 a month. Okay. Just no matter what happens in my life. Yeah. There's always going to be negative people for sure. When they say their names, they all fan Goral, but we'll never admit it. I made Chantal rage, right? It's so fun when I rage. It is on low. No, it's on mid. I'm keeping my ads on. A girl's got to earn a living. I want pickles. I'm thinking of doing the Wednesday Adams dance <laughs> for Halloween. I can make my own really delicious with sand if I want. Curry. I still have some butter chicken. I look like a milkmaid prisoner. I still like that dress. Why, Kyle? They talk about me, so why can't I talk about them? Fair game. She used AM radio as a microphone. Yeah, it sounds like she's underwater. My hallway's creepy. Ooh. I wanted to talk about a creepy story, actually, because I want to, like, get in the spirit. Remember, like, one year I was triggered when I was in Canada, and I did, like, Happy Halloween, and I did, like, all, I made, like, community posts of the reactors with, like, different Halloween themes. I think, like, I did, um, a uh, baked potato goral as like Slimer or the penguin. And then I did tea and uh, unicity at tea and tea and dust as um, capped Reverend Kane from poltergeist. <laughs> um, shut up, Milky, get out of here with your friggin' weird Justin Bieber haircut. Okay. <laughs> I want foodie to find that just reason now. I uh, would rather not. I've worn a lot of weird things, but that it's just sadness, that dress. And apparently there's a Bert and Ernie t-shirt. I don't know. I'm breaking TOS. Wow. Go figure. That's okay, bourgeois. People who don't want to watch while I'm smoking, they don't have to. Here she's showing my photos. Oh. Maybe she'd like a strike. You know what? Boozing. At least I didn't take them in a child's room, right? At least I didn't take any of those pictures in a child's room. <gasps> oh. They all do that. They all try to use the past as something to pin against me, which I totally own my past. I don't care. Go for it. <clears throat> 
I will. I'll strike her after this channel just because it's fun. <laughs> Who takes pictures for a man that doesn't even want you and body shames you? Says you look you your body parts resemble resemble Arby's roast beef. Disgusting, are you? I actually did make quite a bit on OnlyFans. Yeah, I made a good decent amount. I'm just gonna take a picture for my man. He's not your man. He never was your man. He doesn't want you. He didn't want you to go see him. Like, how embarrassing? How pathetic? Embarrassing. She said, no, you edit your pictures to make yourself look better, which you accuse me of doing all the time. So this is you without filters, and you were caught on a live stream without filters, because live streams, they don't have filters. Yeah, I will be teardrop. Strike that B. Yes, I will. Yeah, people are disgusting, W. Yeah. They're very disgusting in Gore World, and that's what we call out. They don't like it. That's why they hate me so bad. They hate it. They hate when you call them out on their shitty behavior, you know? But I'm vile. I've never wished uh, on maybe one person. <laughs> The swordfish, which I don't take back. And um, other than that, I don't stay here all day, you know. Just it's disgusting. I stopped OnlyFans because I'm not that person anymore. I respect myself now. Um, I don't show myself. Um, I was at a very like confused time of my life and it was just normal. Like everyone was doing one, try to make more money. I will record it, yeah. You were young and needed money. <laughs> I needed to put my way through college, but it'll come back to them tenfold. Like, you know, before I blocked that loser, former Beezer, I said that in an email to her. I'm like, just leave me alone. Say what you want about me. If you want to spread lies about me, go for it. Whatever you, you've done, we'll come back to you tenfold. Well, today we're recording her because she's disgusting and showing old OnlyFans because she, she gets so mad whenever we talk about her because she can't handle it. But she talks about me every day like an obsessed idiot. Yeah, psycho. And um, so that's who, yeah, that's who we're recording. Reporter long form. Yeah, we will be. Yeah, they talked all crap behind the screen, just like FF Fool at that fashion show. She was over there fangirling and too scared to say anything. Yeah. And then had the nerve. What really got me was she had the nerve to make fun of all of the beautiful women there and call it a fatty fashion show when she was just a fatty no fashion when she showed up. She showed up in the tightest of friggin' tights, a, a worn out ass Adidas shirt she still wears every day, like no fashion. And she hid her fupa with her bag. And you have the nerve to project on everyone there who was way more beautiful than you and had any way more dignity than you <laughs> make it make sense she's lonely and desperate clearly if you have to put on fishnets and take the daughter's room thirsting over um do they let you take home clothes actually i think he gave me that wig but no clothes i was gonna buy some to support the business but i ended up like reverting after that like close to that putting on hijab and like you know not wearing those clothes <laughs> but i still did buy quite a bit i spent like hundreds at that store rock and round um the dresses were like 120 pop and i remember buying a bunch of them you know Hey, pajami thank you who cares no one cares who he's mad about what what no one's mad here ff ghoul seriously a spitting image of a garbage pail card oh my gosh she does ff ghoul looks like veronica vomit from um garbage pail kids and <laughs> it's uncanny yes you're so right yeah you're right she probably couldn't even get a blind man you know why because despite any looks aside her personality is just crap you know like she's a stage eight clinger it's embarrassing it's okay. that's okay fufu egg i make a good decent amount of money off myself so I'm happy. Yeah, exactly. I'm not the one who made a stream going, ew, did you wear that out? Do you know how many compliments I got when I went out that I was beautiful? How many compliments did you get going out that you're beautiful? Probably none. Like they get so mad when I defend myself. It's so funny. My friend told me after that this person, when we were walking by a perfume stand was like complimenting me and saying how beautiful I was. Because I said like, I'm like, wow, people are kind. <laughs> now when I first wake up, I look like an electrocuted chicken. But whatever trust the process and even that like big deal weight can fluctuate you know i don't give a crap like i'd still rather be me at 800 pounds and ever be half her life that's for sure i don't have a criminal uh background for yes where's your hijab yes where's your hijab and you why are you judging me for my religion when you're not like what who are you are you perfect are you like i don't get it <laughs> who the hell are you Please, you people act like all Muslims have to be saints 100% of the time. Get a life. And this person probably watches the reaction channels who come for me first. And when I defend myself, do better. Shut up. Get out of here. Thanks for your money. And it's always people who criticize me who have no ties to Islam at all or religion. And they say the most vile things. Make it make sense. I wore a short dress to see my grandma. What? Thank you.
I just need a, a Spanx. You like it? No. <laughs> It wasn't even that short. What's the big deal? Who cares? What? Oh my God. Okay. So wearing a dress to go see my grandmother is more weird than taking a first trot picture to somebody who doesn't even want you. Oh yeah. That's, that's so equal. Do you remember 1912 when you wore a short skirt? Time to move on. I know. Watch when I don't talk about them for a month. They're going to go back to, uh, you know, they're going to go back to Cuba Rage for how many, what, the 30th time? You guys have seen my dresses. It's not like I wore a mini skirt and a friggin' halter top to go see my grandma. Get a life. <laughs> it was like a shirt from Torrid, a dress from Torrid. I think the cheetah dress, maybe. It's like, reach a little harder. Your arms are skinny, right? So reach up there. Go. I got out of the car. I don't think, did I go live, like getting out of the car, like before going to see my grandma? Yeah, everything was covered, like when I was in there. And like, I had to wear PPE to see her, you know? Oh, but I didn't, I didn't see my grandma. I was like, like holding her hand when she passed away. So shut up and keep my grandmother's name out of your mouth. At least. So yeah, yeah, hitting your grandpa is the ultimate, is also an ultimate low. And yeah, for it to be, so to say that my friend was an MLM person and I don't even promote Unicity, like try again. Good, let her keep showing clips from my OnlyFans because um, it's going to be striking next. Bringing up something I did a long time ago about doxing uh, Dudu's mom when she already did herself. Um, yeah, sorry, but that was how long ago? And these people are still doing shitty things. So again, try again. You can name off, off of your hand the same five things you people hate me for from two years ago. Get a life. And you do worse. You dox people all the time. People who follow Kiwi Farms, that's all they do is dox people. So quit being a friggin' hypocrite. She is a hateful bee. I love it. I make her mad and I love it. Uh, you br you're bringing the vibe down. As if talking shit about the same person for hours does... It, it's already such a good vibe in your chat, Google. Yeah, such a good vibe your chat has. Please. <laughs> You're welcome here anytime to talk about your problems, whatever. Like, that's so, like, she doesn't have any care for anyone. She just has pure hate and, like, has to keep being petty and stupid. And, and they'll super chat her and tell them about, oh, today I did this. Like, she doesn't give a shit. Save it. Save it for someone who cares. She'll go, okay, yeah, that's nice. Thanks for the super chat. She doesn't care about anybody there whatsoever. And then has the nerve to be like, I'm obsessed. These people have the nerve to say, I'm obsessed with them. Have you seen their channels? Like, seriously, thousands of videos, the same thing every day, every day. So I don't know about that. I think it's the other way around. She felt so bad and was so bad about her mother passing that the same day she went online to talk shit about me. She was right back to it. How bad could it be, right? That's true. That happened. My husband's been very sick for a week now. They don't know yet what's causing him to do his blood. Like, I do, I do, I do keep you guys in my prayers. Like, please protect my beezers. Like, when I'm praying for my family and loved ones, you guys are part of my loved ones too. There's no need for it. It's just, it's honestly cancer. It is. Gorwald is a cancer to the internet. I want to find the screenshots of uh, Scabba Dabba Doo Doo calling an autistic boy the R word. If anyone know, has those, email them to me. Breezy says you pay for Salah, but she rented a $3,000 Airbnb just because Garlic told her to and added in a bonus daughter in the deal. There you go. Um. Yeah, I've said the R word, like it slipped out when I'm talking like about people who are dumb and I don't mean it in a way with for people with disabilities, but to actually call a child that, someone's child the R word because they're autistic, it's disgusting. Like the things they've said, and they have the nerve to bring up. Or what I did, to, what I said about Didi's bomb. I just saw that on her own video, the room number, and I was drunk. And maybe that's not an excuse, but honestly, the crap they put me through, I would do anything at that time to hurt them. Anything. I was like, just I had a black soul when I drunk. When I was drunk, and I was fed up with their crap. Like you, and bless you, went through what I went through with them. I'm sure some people would have a similar reaction. Maybe not everybody. Do I regret doing that? Yeah, I think it's wrong to, to say what I did in a, a lot of the cube. It was like four years ago, three or four years ago, you know? Compared to what they did to me, that's very, 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 very small. Try being a better person. Get out of here. I, ha I hate virtue signalers. I hate self-righteous people. I can't stand it. <laughs> Try being a better person next time. I am a better person today. I, I don't drink, so there's no chance of me getting that nasty to where I would dox, you know, like, anyway, I didn't even dox. It was already on her video. It's still there. You can go see her mom's room number on her video. Like, please. And you know what? She moved her mother in and let the swordfish bathe her. Like, please. She doesn't care about her own mom. I'm in a bad mood. No, no I'm just like sassy. I don't know. I'm just letting everyone have it today. Sharing personal information, Jennifer. It's okay for them to do it to my family, though. No problem. No problem for people, you know, for the Google to put my family's pictures up. I should start putting, you know, I'm not like that. I don't lower myself. I should put her, put her mom's picture in my, my intro. You know, how about that? How about I put your ex, like pictures of my aunt? She doesn't have, she's not in this. 
She's not online. The bonus daughter thing, she said that to Gorlick, like, and you'll have a bonus daughter. You don't even have full custody of your daughter. So it's going to be like a half bonus. I pay for so I'll prove it. How did he live before he met me? He paid, he had a car that he paid for cash. He had a, his own place. He had his own bills. I want to be debt free. And like the next year, I want to be completely debt free. Half bonus. Yeah, it is. And I love how Scabba is like, you have your cat on birth control and people take birth control. The vet approved it and gave it to her. So go complain to a, a doctor, which you are not. Abortion shaming. When she drank while pregnant and missed six years of her kid's life. And had them with a... Again, I'll remind people of that. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, she was talking about having... Go like, the go my ghost children are running around. Like, how gross of a human do you have to be to even think of that? Like... <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I'm not these people. I just can't. She calls Gaining Ground, who's clearly not. Um, what does she call him? Cliffy P. Cliffy... Uh, Excuse me, are you projecting that you had kids with one? Yeah. Yeah, she's like your ghost, chil ghost children. She blames, everyone blames Gigi for stuff. And he's like the funniest guy. Like, he's really funny. Imagine having kids with a file and having Sam raise one. Yeah, I know. Can you imagine? And then calling other people that, that aren't even. And then trying to cover it up and then writing him. Sam apparently admitted to writing a glowing page long obituary for the guy like even to protect the kids how the same kids that you called unfortunate like how do you how do you put pen to paper on that like how do you write that like i could never i could never uh -uh. gaining ground was always nice to you yeah i know sam said about another woman's childhood essay maybe that's why she's so bitter grandpa won't have her no more yes i saw that i saw that she said that she's disgusting and they have the nerves still bring up um Dee Dee's mom's doxing or the cuba rage these people are just and she also said um she was defending it when it cut out people will defend their behavior no matter what i don't know how people do it's really sad if you're willing to like dehumanize yourself just because you're mad at me that's on you man that's okay that video i'm sure even if she deletes it we got it we're going to be recording her sam telfer said that little girl wanted it from you and she also said about gaining ground his mom has dementia she said that maybe you like to pinch your mom when you're changing her diapers she said that online can you imagine how gross, like, how do you, how does that even come out of your mouth? It's not a bruise, it's just a color, dis uh, skin discoloration. I don't know why. I don't know. Nobody has perfect skin. You handle it with much more grace than I would. I honestly, compared to what they say and do, yeah, I think so. No, like, seriously, maybe I'm lowering myself in this stream when I talk back to them, but they can dish it every day, all day. But when I give anything back and bring up truth and hypocrisy, they cry. Oh, she's raging because they're deflecting. They don't want, you know... They don't want to like hear what what's people are saying. Miss Mara, your comment is the stupidest comment of the day. Can we pin that? Why are you not focusing on your, another deflection when I speak my mind? I can't focus on my diet and talk about things. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Maybe you have a one track mind and you can't multitask, but I can. If you don't want to hear the same thing every day, don't watch the reactors. They literally every single day talk about how much rice I'm eating while being fat themselves and very unfortunate looking. If you're not ashamed of how you look, why are you hiding yourself? Why are you hiding yourself behind an avatar that looks nothing like you? You're worse than the avatar, which is funny because the avatar is meant to be comical, you know? Well, you should maybe react to and refute what they say. Otherwise, what's the point? Yeah, I'm so tired of all the diet talk. <laughs> I know. I'm always torn between I should just ignore it. Oh, yeah, Salah's out talking to another woman. We're together 24-7. Stay mad. That's always the thing. Are you hungry? Maybe you should eat. You're angry. Don't worry, I'm eating. I don't like stupidity and hypocrisy. That's why I'm mad. It's because of you. You're dumb. <laughs> or he's he's out cheating. Like I would. Like, yeah, sure. I'm just gonna sit here and accept that. You don't know me. I'm not angry whatsoever. Dieting is difficult. It's a lifetime struggle for many. Yeah. Hi, Gary. Who else thinks that it's absolutely ridiculous that I'm on a health journey and I'm so open about it and I talk about my struggles and I just whatever. So I'm the one doing, and then there's all these other fat reactors behind an avatar not doing. And they're all they're doing is shitting on what I'm doing. No, he doesn't cheat. That was a stupid one-time drama bullshit. Like, we're together 24-7, like, literally. Like, if not, we have each other's locations. It's just, it's ridiculous that people think that. But whatever. At least um, I'm not rejected by, like, any man online, really. Like, Boozy is. Now Breezy's mods are slandering Gigi. Oh, yeah. They have nothing else. They're just, like, her pathetic. Pathetic, lonely, children, adults, childish adults. 
you to use the Green Gaining Ground channel, really good channel, I believe. He's he's really like witty. He's more intelligent and witty than these people, and he doesn't have to go low like them. You know, like I don't know. I always laugh like when he like the way he insults people is funny. They insult themselves with their with the evidence of how dumb they are. Scaba wanted you to react to her video to point out any lies, yet she didn't have the balls to react to the video. You dragged her. Okay, I can I can do that because all she does is lie. Like everything she says is lies. Everything they make up, like look at, I just pointed out when they were all like, she's gonna get kicked out of Kuwait because of uh, her health. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? Have you ever been kicked out of a country for having health issues? Especially ones like diabetes. Get a life. So that's happy and confident and unbothered by dumb, lonely women who can't get a man who doesn't sleep with it. Yeah, exactly. She didn't show her audience that one video I made of her. Oh, I should make more. Make money off of her. I think I got a decent amount of views. Probably as many as she makes. See, I can get I can get more money too by talking about people. You're not special. But can you support yourself only vlogging and talking about your life? No, I can do that. They're trying to drag you down. Their viewers will disappear if you get healthy. That's sad. That's sad that they have an audience that only tunes in to watch someone's downfall. And they're supporting someone more vile who says more disgusting things that I've just pointed out. I saw that Yaba spent the day on stream looking for your friend. How sad is that? Can you imagine these low people? looking they were trying to match her teeth yeah that's how pathetic that's how pathetic these people are like i could never be that that stupid so i i win i win over all of you you're dumb imagine spending your time doing that oh my god the comparing teeth on a picture that probably had a filter smart people i must say yeah yep they already figured out she shops at timu they found her shirt and shoes it could be like timu has knockoffs of everything okay they have knockoffs. You can get like pretty close knockoffs of like everything. Even if she does, who cares? What is that? What does that mean? That somebody sh I shop at Timu. What does that even mean? Like that's so pathetic. They have to watch you in order to get content. So, exactly. I know, Becca. Yep. What's the purpose of finding her? Exactly. To tell tell them how bad of a person I am. She knows me, and she doesn't think that. She doesn't. She has a brain. She thinks the re like the reaction channels are worse. Plain and simple. You've all proven you I like have worse history than me, bigger skeletons. Um, just yeah. I don't have a criminal record. I've never had children with a PDF. I've never uh whatever. The list goes on and on and on. I've never called an autistic child any names. She called you an Oh, okay, I see Anna. She called you a stupid idiot for supporting you when you called her a smoker. <laughs> like, dude, we can hear your voice. Stage five emphysema incoming. And has the nerve to talk about my health problems. Girl, you were hiding your fupa with your bag. Your cheap knockoff bag, whatever it was, at the fashion show. And then nobody's seen her for like, I don't know, how many years now? Can you imagine? <laughs> Jump scare. Anyway. I know, they're reaching with the TV shirt. That's so stupid. Everyone on Kiwi Farms who makes those comments probably uh, is wearing Cheeto stained t-shirts and they have the nerve. Wearing great value brand t-shirt from with Cheeto stains and they have the nerve to comment on. So stupid. Like, what's your point? Oh, she shops at Timu. Like, I got made fun of for wearing thing, cheap clothes when I was in high school. They didn't grow in their brain beyond 16. Oh, look, something good in Foodie Beauty's life. Let's try to um, break it apart and break it down and be negative. Well, you can keep living your life as a sad parasite, but I'm not. But it is fun to call it out sometimes. Why don't you report just saying for blatantly ripping off your videos and putting her own watermark on it? Yeah, YouTube doesn't seem to give a crap about their creators um she looks great yeah she looks even in the timu clothes if it is timu she looks a lot better than them that's for sure we don't even have to see what they look like to know that because people who are happy and confident and have a good life don't go to kiwi farms and don't spend time talking about others for hours and hours okay like i'm doing now <laughs> they go in real life because they think that they can get something like any reaction out of me whatever i call the bluff and move on FF Ghoul wears clothes made from the same type of labor. Labor. Yeah, you don't think Adidas? You think they're the pinnacle of ethical company? Yeah, right. Gucci? Hmm. High fashion is very exploitative. Exploitative. So, yeah. 911, help a lady's being mean to me. Why is she mean to you, ma'am? Um, I steal her content every day and make fun of her every day because I'm miserable and pathetic and jealous. Oh, well, then you deserve it, ma'am. Have a nice day. We have actual emergencies. I have a business, not a normal job, yes. Shavir? Yeah, she put out a picture, a recent picture from last year of the same shitty carpet. So she's still living in the same crappy place. 
she lives on like Rue Cardinal or something. I don't know. In Montreal. No, the haters probably can only get. And I don't feel bad for saying that because she can put my pictures of my family up. Fair game. Yeah, she's going to say that, Capone, as if she's going to admit to where she lives. I don't know. I don't know then. Maybe Kiwi Farms is wrong. I don't know. Somebody sent me that. But so rich but can't afford a, a webcam, right? Wasn't she supposed to get a new computer with a webcam? How much did she pay for her computer and she can't even get a webcam? Okay. Well, she lives in Montreal, so who cares? Yeah, they are dirt cheap, yeah. If you're going to talk about other people's... Oh, she found a webcam, so use it. If you're going to talk crap about other people's looks, especially people better looking than you, maybe cam up. Fair is fair. She's so crass and embarrassing, yes. Yeah. Cam up with the found computer, yeah. Think that we forgot that she put that and made fun of it. She is racist and beaten elderly people she's discussing. Yeah, she had um, Marty on her her panel, and I think he was trolling, I don't know, but he was doing black and um, she had him on the panel. She's too stupid to realize it. Cam up so everyone can bully you. But it's okay for her to do it, right, Crochet? No problem there. I love how you defend that. Seems hypocritical. Living your best life? I, yeah, I'm definitely living better life than them. Even with all my problems, everyone has them and they have more. And they're just sad because at the end of the day, I don't have to do what I what they do on my free time. I don't have to be like a piece of crap every single day, you know, and try to contrive the stupidest lies for any kind of money to pay my bills or support children or whatever, you know. Um, Joey, maybe get out of here. Bye. I can do whatever the fuck I want. If you're in here to tell me what to do with my own stream, you can get lost. Everyone tears foodie apart from hair strand to cat hair to carpet. Yeah, and you know what, Grapevine? That's why I block people like Joey because you have the nerve to come in here and be like, how dare you ever... De defend yourself against anything like sorry but it doesn't matter what i do or say people are going to come for me if i want to defend myself once in a while and point out the bs no problem there whatever they keep saying the reason you're hated is that your cat or was their excuse for the five years pro, pro yeah what was their excuse to that prior exactly exactly and that's complete slander like complete slander you know it is win hammer it is yeah yay goodbye cindy ann hide user on this channel my favorite button is that not judging? Yeah, I'm judging her back. I'm pointing out the hypocrisy. She has the nerve to say what I was wearing was ugly when it's 10 times nicer than her ugly shirt she was wearing. Get out of here. An Islamophobic undertone with some of these channels. Yeah, there are for sure. Yep. And then they have the nerve to be like, you're not a good Muslim. I mean, I know I had some good times like back in Canada, but that life is like not my life anymore. You know? Mm -hmm. Or looks miserable self needs to get it together and quit coming after women like juicy he's so like i saw someone in, in your mama's chat saying his voice makes my egg sterile i'm sorry that's like crude but it's so funny always giving me advice when he needs it more right you want to give me um you know you want to hire a nutritional coach for me when you need a life coach you're still living with your mom and buying her bras okay you need you need a life coach so i'll make you a deal you get a life coach and then maybe we'll consider it Julie is obsessed. They just weird for you. Like a lot out there. Anywho, you're looking beautiful. There's a lot of weird obsessed haters. They're so strange. I'm kind of getting hungry. I want to have my butter chicken. He needs to pay his debts and quit lying to women. <laughs> yeah. I was catfished. Yeah, right. It's true. He admitted that. He'll never live that down. Just like he doesn't let other people live things down. Well, you, we can say the same about you. Eh. Yo Flake needs to start stop starting drama. He's just embarrassing. I love the high school background, the dramatic music, and the mix colored. Like, the drapes don't match the curtains, buddy. He sits, he talks so seriously. Like, he's um, soft white underbelly. Saying heifer with no front teeth sounds extra funny. Just saying. <laughs> you know, I feel mean, but then I have to remind myself that she's calling me, like, a cow every day. Projecting because she did a GoFundMe for cows, and there were no cows. <laughs> you keep your name out of, keep my name out of your mouth. When people say your name like Chantel. I can't stand any words Scrabba says. She can't talk. She says, Ode. It's getting owed. <laughs> That's what she sounds like to me. That's all I hear. Chantel. In bed 100. She's projecting again. You know how she called Gaining Ground? Her baby daddy was one. She calls me a uh, Funkel because she's clearly from a family of inbreeding. Clearly. She makes fun of how she came on camera looking like the guy from the Goonies. Like what? Hold on, Chantel. It's getting ood. It's getting ood. <laughs> Just please, the message here. 
is have a look at yourselves, okay? Before you talk about me for three hours, because her channel's there to help you. Her channel's here to help me? Oh, yeah, thank you. I really needed someone to plan my funeral. Right, nice. Why does she help? She can't even help herself. Would you take life advice from a hillbilly like her? No offense, some hillbillies are really nice, but... <laughs> I don't know. Breezy thinks your blood pressure is on, and you talk at this volume and speed on every live. You're the one calling 911 on people for giving you shit about taking a picture in your daughter's room. I think you're the one who needs a cuff. He's not helped, Rebecca. You're right, Shrimp Basket. Maybe, like, gives him... I don't know. He's still doing... I don't think he can save everybody, though, to be fair, but... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid of people like her, actually. Not, like, because I'm, like, afraid of her beating me up or something stupid, but... She's so evil, and she's so deranged, you just don't know what these people are capable of. Like, I might do a video compiling every evil thing she's ever said, her and Sam, and you'll see for yourself. I need to do some digging, because uh, I gotta see, like, they've said some nasty things on Twitter, they've said some nasty things. I think, who was it, Perp, who was it? Um, Pirate, what, who are they talking about with the grandfather thing? Like, no compassion for you, like, even just, like, to say, I'm so sorry, that's all she had to do, was acknowledge what you were going through as somebody who supports her, like, are you kidding? And she has the nerve to be like, you're bringing my chat down. We're here to hate on foodie beauty, okay? You can't humanize, and nobody can have any humanization in my chat. None whatsoever. That's her take on things. Hey, Hudson, we're not getting into hate channels more? Oh. Who is bringing the chat down? Can you give a context when you discuss the drama? Yeah, Cynthia went into um, FFG's chat along a while ago and was saying about, like, talking about her cancer scare, and she had, like, FFG was like, you're bringing our chat down, and she ended the stream or something. Cynthia, this FF gun is Islamophobic, racist, liar, disgusting, and always dreams for the imaginary lumberjack with her smelly ass dry ponytail. <laughs> yeah. She had the nerve to make fun of Salah's body, too. Like, excuse me? What do you think you look like under that hit what your purse is hiding? Sorry. Have the nerve. Frig. Oh, they took pity on me because of my size. Right. Okay. Actually, two of the women who complimented me were larger. Oh, or my size. Nice try, though. Stay mad, stay jealous. I'm assuming in Canada, you could have taken legal action towards someone who openly has online hate platform towards you, then show up at places where you were. That's reckless on their part. Yeah, for the thing about BBJ, um, defamation about me being an animal abuser when I have I could get records from the animal control, my vet records. Um, there's so much I could have done. Yeah, you're right. They're just mad because I think I'm beautiful at whatever size I am. I wanna be healthier, but they hate themselves because somebody who isn't ashamed of what they look like doesn't hide. <laughs> you know they're confident like there's even i have to include this 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 um it's a snap it's a snap of yabba saying you have you should be camming up for your audience what a hypocrite and she hasn't cammed up in so long and when she does she hides behind she's in the dark and she hides behind a microphone she doesn't show her whole self you're so beautiful your body's perfect they're just jealous thanks babe <laughs> yeah and i know you just you want me to be healthy i get it you know it's really sad that you you think so low of yourselves that you have to resort to just constantly hating on somebody, you know, to feel better about yourself. She's so self-loathing. She always kept her a man. The only reason I say that, there's nothing wrong with being single. Like, you know, like people act like it's not hard to get somebody. Unless you're FF Ghoul, probably. <laughs> but, and boozing, you know, she's tried so hard. She's, she's desperately sent every angle of her beef curtains to this guy and he still rejected her. That's embarrassing. <laughs> she wants to buy a house on your back. I hope it's haunted. Yeah, good luck. Do you know how much a house costs? They're like friggin' half a million dollars for a friggin' bungalow these days. It's insane. Maybe not in Montreal. I don't know. But yeah, it will be haunted for sure. I hope BBJ haunts her. Let's put sand. <laughs> Did you see he said she had a turd birthmark? <laughs> she I know, every little thing. She acts like such a jealous, hateful person, you know? She, 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 like, like when I went up with my friend, she reacted. She's like, ew, like, did you wear that out? <laughs> Do you know you look like a Fatimu version of Elsa in your ugly dress that you wore? I'm on the other side of the world. They're still on the same couch. Yeah, and it probably smells. Yeah, exactly, Levy, yeah. Yes, I know, they're claiming from Unicity. That's so funny. <laughs> Can you imagine the nerve? I, I actually can't believe that... Uh, Slimer, we're going to call FFG Slimer. I can't believe Slimer had the nerve. And Slimer is more funny than, like, let's say, like, why do they even say salad? Like, how is being called a salad even an insult? That's so stupid. Like, when they called me Flobby Bobby, that doesn't even sound like Foodie Beauty. Like, get a life. 
get a brain to come up with better insults. Thank you. Okay. She had the nerve to show up at the fashion show looking like she did, wearing what she did. It's a fashion show. All right. Um, ew. Anyway, how embarrassing. Why they all think it's so unbelievable you made a friend? Maybe if they would actually be a decent human, they could make friends as well. Yeah, I know. Like, oh, booze and she's like, what is she doing with you? Oh, you are such a better, more happy uh, person to be around saying those comments that you do. Mm -hmm. Foodie tootie. Cause you, yeah, that's, I can understand that, Angela. <laughs> I'm Canadian. I really want to pretend. I haven't had one in a long time. <sighs> Imagine being so selfish that you tell someone they are bringing the chat down when someone has cancer. Disgusting. Exactly, Katrina. Full selfishness. Yep. If you're not hating on me, somehow she doesn't want to hear it. Thanks, guys, for cheering me up. <laughs> We're all going to hell, but that's okay. No, I'm just kidding. Breezing and her gremlins cussed me out for sticking up for you in her chat. She was mad. I told her she has no life. They don't like the truth. That's what they say about me, right? They don't like the truth. All right, enough talking about these parasites. I'm going to be eating. <laughs> Soy sauce. Calm down, Sansa. I know how much sodium is in it. I can read labels too, except for the cereal. They lied to me on the front of the box. It says four grams. I showed you. I'm going to have my butter chicken because I don't feel like making a put in right now. I don't have to cam up. I'm sorry, but uh, does anyone agree that if you talk crap about people's looks, you should be showing your face? Yum. Check it out. Butter chicken. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy. Here, let me hold up the bowl so that Karen Bud can count how much rice I'm eating. There you go. Oh, but I'm the one who has to... Someone's like, how embarrassing you have to say that you have a friend? Dude, do you know how many people, when I just briefly, just in passing, mention that I have a friend because people always say I should make friends. So when I tell you guys that I've made a friend, then they have to be like, I can't believe you're saying you have a friend. How sad. Mm. If I croak, I'm haunting all of you. Your house will never smell the same again. <laughs> Comments about my Timu, but sends a $1.99 super chat, cheap ass. Yeah, 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 I'll buy something at Timu. Thank you. More butt bleach. They give you a bottle this big. Excuse me. <laughs> Wrinkly Wiener, we heard it all before. So does Adidas, Nike, whatever. Where do you shop? Do you go to um, an Amish village and get them to sew you a potato sack from scratch? Where do you shop? A oh, righteous one. They make certain uh, products only, allegedly. <clears throat> do you have definitive proof of that i like it about it yeah Vic, i think it's disgusting and free palestine am i worried it will come here Not really. I'm not going to leave my family because of that. I'll go fight on the front lines. Say I'm against it. Yeah. Of course I'm against genocide. If you're not, I'm afraid of elevators, but of people, of stuff like that, no. And I'm not going to be afraid to stand up for what I believe in anymore, just because it might rustle some feathers. Too bad. You know, if you don't stand for something, you stand for nothing. It makes them look misinformed. I know. All you have to do is look at the death stats. But what even are you talking about? You don't even know that was even, that's not even him in that picture. Like, freaking people. No, he didn't. <laughs> people can think what they want. They're stupid. Hate money. You have to love it. Yeah, actually, I made 70 bucks. Thank you. Bring it on. What else do you want to tell me? <laughs> I want to make it to 100. Come on. Hate money. Say more. I'll read it. I don't mind. <laughs> I used the treadmill earlier. Can you do a, high, a side hijab for Halloween? Let's get a Peter Griffin mask and wear a, high, a, um, a side hijab. Yes. We'll recommend outfits for Breezy of Virginia, yeah, but... <laughs> I know that Scab is not criticizing me shopping at Timu when she orders her merch from there and triples the price for people. 
I can imagine Breezy eating her leftovers to experience her life. She wants to be so bad, constantly compares herself. It's so crazy. It's so pathetic. The only time I ever pay these people any mind is when I watch, like I said, Yo Mama or something like that, Gaining Ground, um, somebody like that, you know? I would love for FF Ghoul to react to the stream. She, well, she will. She has nothing else to do. Yeah, she is, Cynthia. She is. For her to just dismiss you, like when you're at a low moment and you're like looking for support. If you're looking to hate on me, that's the place to go. She's, yeah, she's pro at being a piece of crap. But if she, you need any kind of human compassion and any compassion for animals, just for, just to look better, just to try to look better than me, just to look good. No, I'm sorry. So yeah, see you later. Thanks for listening. Bye.